Oh, shit. Despite having people in this movie, these aren't the characters that actually have a personality. Instead, the Titans are the true stars of the show, in both spectacle and personality. I want to focus on the scene where Ghidorah is first awakened after being freed by Alan Jonah, Dr. Emma Russell. But first, we need to understand Ghidorah's role, not just here, but in the Godzilla franchise as a whole. King Ghidorah first appeared in 1964 in the film Ghidorah, the Three-Headed Monster. And from there, he would go on to appear in seven other Godzilla movies and two Mothra movies. Since his first appearance, he has been dubbed the Joker to Godzilla's Batman. When he was first announced to be in King of the Monsters, there was a lot of pressure on if he would be treated with the care and respect that so many other adapted characters failed to get. Luckily, with Michael Dotery at the helm, not only did he give the Golden Dragon his due, this may very well be the best incarnation of him to date. The scene begins with Ghidorah rising all three of his heads from the ice. Ghidorah has never really had a personality in his other incarnations except as the bad guy. But here, each head has been given its own nickname and personality to match. Ichi is the middle head and the one calling the shots. Ni is the right head and the most aggressive out of the three. And then there's Kevin. Kevin is the submissive, curious one. The massive titan breaks free from the ice, and stretching his wings, we are able to see the scale of size and power that only the Hollywood treatment could give him. He's so massive that the ice chunks that are pebbles to him are literally crushing people. As Kevin looks at the soldiers, we get to see his personality shine through, as he inquisitively inspects the soldiers firing at them, and even knocks one over without seriously hurting him and when Ichi calls to him, he responds and they unleash a gravity beam, obliterating the soldiers. I find this scene in particular a great example of why Ghidorah is considered to be like the Joker. People do not pose any danger towards him, yet it's comical in how he kills them in such an over-the-top way. This shows that Ghidorah isn't just an aggressive animal, but instead an actual evil creature, and because of this evilness, it makes the showdowns between Ghidorah and Godzilla that more important, since you quite literally have a god and the devil battling to see who will come out on top. The final cherry on this already awesome introduction scene is the musical score provided by Bear McCurry. The ominous instrumentals that rise as Ghidorah rises out of his icy prison match perfectly, and ensure that when the score plays while Ghidorah is on screen, you feel intimidated and even a little bit nervous, even for the big G himself. The chanting in the background further adds to how evil Ghidorah is with a chorus of monks chanting away evil spirits. Ghidorah is evil, but he's more than just a big monster. He's sadistic, and what better way to end this video than to leave you with this quote that sounds like it was made for this version of Ghidorah. Where there is no respect for life, there you will find evil. O.R. Maiden.